time. And now, 1986 Critters, rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour, 26 minutes. This had a budget of $2 million. What do you think this brought into the box office, Alex? The budget was $2 million? $2 million. Wow. That was all on the big critter. <clears throat> yeah. Um, that was on Johnny Steele. Johnny Steele. Was he Power a real... Power of the night. The streets are calling. That song slaps. Saw <laughs> 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 on the space special effects. <laughs> Oh, that stupid Gumby dude in the freaking wheelchair in the first part of this movie. Like, oh, the critters escaped. Like, oh, my God. Get the bounty hunters. All yeah. right. First All things right. first. What Sorry. do you think the box office was? Oh, it's got to be like more than $2 million. Uh, I'm going to say it made $10 million. Okay, Vader. I, so just as the initial release, right? Because I know all of these movies today, for some reason, they're all, they all have their cult classic yeah. status. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, shit, man. I don't know. This is one of those movies that I always saw, you always saw on the VHS store with, mm. that was just always there. Mm -hmm. They always had a copy of Creators on the wall. Um, I, I don't know. What did you say? 10? Yeah. I'll go 15. Somewhere in the middle. $13 million. <laughs> you split the speedboat. <laughs> Yeah. Sweet. I don't want to. I got enough speedboats. <laughs> oh, I can switch it up. Can I get it? You can. You can have a brand new refrigerator. I need. Oh. I need a camper. Alex camper. really needs more kitchen stuff. I need. I need a, a washer RV. dryer. Washer and dryer. Yeah, washer and yeah, dryer. Yeah, a brand Sweet. new washer and dryer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready for the synopsis? Yes, I am. All right, the dude's just eight deadly death row inmates hijack a spaceship and make their way to Earth. Hungry from the long journey, they start looking for food. The nearest sustenance is the farm D. Wallace and Scott Grimes live. The sneaky critters aren't satisfied with the animals on the farm and start looking for humans to feast on, starting with Billy Zane. Meanwhile, intergalactic bounty hunters have been sent after the critters, or krites, as they're known in the spacefaring world, and give zero fucks about low profiles. They blow up everything in their path toward the krites, taking the faces of the townsfolk they see and trying them on, you know, to blend in. Ugg seems pretty comfortable in the face of rocker Johnny Steele, of Power of the Night musical gold. But his partner can't find a face that likes him till he spies Charlie, the town nut. That face fits him like a glove. The bounty hunters follow the path of carnage through the town toward the farm as Lieutenant Gordon runs for help. His family is on borrowed time back at the farm where the critters have them surrounded. Running into the bounty hunters, he directs them to hurry toward the farm where the critters are getting bigger. Discuss. I had a surprisingly good time with this movie. I love this movie. It's I, so much fun. I've never seen it before. It's my first watch. Like the soundtrack of Power of the Night over and over and over, over again. And over. Power of the, night. the one song they had the rights to. I think it was made yeah, specifically yeah, no, they, for they, this they movie. They made the, yeah. the song yeah. for the movie. Okay. Yeah, that it, sounds about movies right. used to do that in the 80s. Yeah. Well, they still kind of do it. They, they have sometimes somebody will make a. Like, yeah, like, well, they got like Adele. They got Adele and, and what's her face? That one chick that does uh, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. So for she James does, Bond? Well, James Bond, and I think Billie but, Eilish did I mean, James another. Bond always has an original song. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I just feel like they were like, this was a complete, they should have just got Bon Jovi to do it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I don't know. They only Johnny have $2 million. Steel <laughs> is a, not, Johnny Steele is a national treasure. He, does he, he ever make anything else besides Oh, that? no, he's not real. Okay. <laughs> he's, not, not he's Bon Jovi. He's, okay. He's John Bon Jovi. That hair. Yeah. Oh, it was epic. Oh, my God. I could just I could just curl up and fall asleep in it. <laughs> it's just Straight up 80s, dude. It's like Mufasa. Oh, I mean, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Which I, is listen. apt because this is really the 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 tale of you know circle of life. When when you go to, <laughs> when, you, when you go to high school in 1986, like like I did, um, all of the girls had that dude's hair. <laughs> Every single one. I can show you my, my 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 yearbook pictures. Right, I believe you. Yeah. Every single one of them. The the hot chicks, the ugly chicks, the <laughs> the unpopular chicks. They all had the same haircut. Giant aqua neck bitch flip. What is, is that? What right? you know? What I'm you probably I had. Do, you I probably do. had the same haircut. And it haircut. was called something like that. Bitch. Bitch flip. It was bitch. a bitch flip. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and the and the something girls. Like that. They all had their three foot tall giant can of aqua net in yeah. their mm -hmm. bedrooms. Yeah. That they just stood in front of and inhaled all those noxious fumes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, it was. Yeah, I think my older sister graduated in like eighty seven or eighty nine, and I vividly remember. Oh, yeah. yeah, the hair. I should show you some pictures. I'll, I'll put some on Discord. You will, you will, you will lose your shit. It is so funny. Do you follow the um, 
like, I forget what it's called, but it's 80s something on TikTok. And it's just like some guy who had a video camera in the 80s, like showing up at parties or at the school or at the roller rink, just with his VHS camcorder. With cam his VHS quarter. camcorder, just like, and it, that's it, That's the whole TikTok. You it's sure just, it's not like a, a, a filter or something? No. Oh, wow. No, it's like legit 80s footage of just like showing up somewhere and with your camcorder. <laughs> nice. And, and he plays like a song over it and everybody's like, uh-huh, bunny ears. <laughs> and, and that's it. It's like a minute long of that. And I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> That was my that was my world in the eighties. So it was I, girls with big hair and Coors Light. So it's easy to say every that this, weekend. This movie has <laughs> That's a lot your personality of personality now. <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> this movie has a lot of nostalgia for you guys then. Yeah. The yeah. yeah, yeah, baby Billy Zane so, before uh, he got on the Titanic. Yeah, this was actually my first watch. <gasps> wow. You've never seen Critters? Uh, it was one of those movies where like. When I was growing up, I was like, that looks too scary for me. And so like, I've just never watched it. This oh. was the first time I've watched it. Speaking of scary. So we watched this, um, we, we have an eight year old and we had said like, hey, we're gonna watch a scary movie tonight. So it's summertime now. So you can watch TV in your bedroom, but you need to stay there. Um, so Tom came over about seven, we ate, and then we started the movie. And uh, my son was upstairs about 9.30, like a good hour into this movie, I see something out of the corner of my eye and I was like, get back upstairs. And he like giggles and runs upstairs. So I go up there thinking he's gonna be traumatized. Yeah, cause people get eaten. Yeah, <laughs> so I go up, he's laughing hysterically. And I was like, I was so proud. I was like, hey, um, what did you see? So he told me what he saw, which was like one of the critters and mm. its teeth and everything. And he was like, and then you said this, and then Matt said this, <laughs> and then uh, and then you and then you saw me, and then I had to come upstairs. And I was like, okay, well, was it scary? And he was like, no. And I was like, and a boy. <laughs> well, well, you know, you know, when Vader said that, like, there was always like a copy of Critters at the video store. Mm -hmm. So every time I would go to the video store my local video store had like this standee of Critters 3 where like they get into the big ball and there's like the Critters face there. And I had seen a clip of the Critters ball rolling over a guy and like <laughs> le leaving a bloody skeleton in its wake. Cause like they just like ate everything on, on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, like when I was a kid that always just kind of like, you know, like freaked me out. And so like, I was like, I'm never watching a Critters Oops. movie. <laughs> I never watched, I think I- there's I think I thought this movie was stupid. Yeah, it was. It was very stupid. Very there's there's <laughs> nothing there's nothing scary about this movie. No, not at These all. These things are Muppets with teeth. That, yeah. That's all it really is. Well, well they and, were based on the Tasmanian devil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I mean, this is pure camp. You know, this movie took forever <laughs> to get going. We were like 40 minutes in before you ever see your first critter. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of, it, it initially took me out of this Well, it's, it's supposed to, I think they're supposed to go like for the Jaws effect, like you don't see the shark. Well, they did it poorly. It takes off Billy Zane's fingers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I This movie, it's fun, but it's not good. It's it's just not good. It's, I never said it was good. It, yeah, I know. <laughs> I said it was it's, fun. It is fun. This though. is one of the staples of like my childhood. This came out in 86. I don't know when I would have seen this. Certainly not in 86. But I remember, like I said, I, like I was raised on USA Up All Night mm -hmm. and the Gilbert Godfrey and all of that late night USA stuff. Um, so I probably, my first watch was probably on there. Um, but I remember being a, like a teenager and just, and just watching this for the first time and being like, this movie is so cool. Mm -hmm. That girl is so slutty. I want to be just like her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She that was dinner scene where she's like, you said you were going to take me for a ride. Billy Zane's like... I, I did. He's like, yeah, yeah let's freaking go. Yeah. It's like, I'm trying yeah. to impress your dad here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to give your dad the impression I'm not going to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and she's all like feeling his I dick under the table. I love that scene where he pulls up in his stupid little freaking, I don't know, Pontiac, whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. And uh, and his dad's like, you can't haul any hay in that yeah, thing. Yeah, I think it's a Porsche. <laughs> Was it a Porsche? Yeah, because he has the Porsche emblem on his shirt too. Oh, wow. That's an expensive car. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't like the dad. The, you didn't like that? No. I, th I, th I thought he was kind of. A I dick. thought they were going to kill him. I was yeah. weirdly into the dad the whole <laughs> movie. Like, he was such a Watching weird... it now as a, a very grown up person, um, I was like, Farmer Dad. <laughs> oh, that's all a weird, right. That's a weird thing. That's a weird thing. <laughs> that's a weird thing. <laughs> In his bib overalls, working on a carburetor, saying boy all the time. I was yeah. into it. He, he had a lot of Bruce Campbell energy. In he the movie. did. He did. I was, See, I, I didn't pick that. I just picked up that he was just kind of a 
whoever wrote this just tried to make him as big of a redneck as they possibly could. Oh, yeah. no. Well, and, I, I, and I didn't like it. The story I got from it was that he handles shit. Yeah. Because D. Wallace lives on this farm with him and she doesn't even know how to shoot a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and D. Wallace, everyone's favorite 80s mom. Right? Uh, yeah, like she's she would, in everything. She, yeah. She was coming off of E.T. Like, this was her follow-up to E.T. Yeah, she was... She's the mom in E.T.? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And she was in Cujo. She's the mom in that. And she was the uh, main lady in The Howling that we talked about. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I didn't recognize yeah, her. She was like a scream queen. It's kind of weird to me that she didn't know how to shoot a gun because, um, I mean, that was basically my farm. That's basically... <laughs> yeah. For real. And, um, I didn't know any mom's... That didn't know how to shoot a gun. Well, she figured it out by the end. <laughs> she went full like freaking mama bear on that place well, by the end. Mom, she was like mom, blowing those things away. My mom has her own guns. Yeah. We, okay. <laughs> we, 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 we should also point out that Rick Grimes plays the kid in this. And yeah. Like he goes on. He's he's on the Orville now. Scott Grimes. Scott Grimes. Sorry. Uh, Rick Grimes is undead. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah he's yeah, the Walking yeah, Dead guy. Yeah, walking yeah. Dead. So Scott Grimes. Uh, we also have Neelix, uh, yeah. who, who uh, is in this movie as a uh, that's deputy. great. Yeah, I totally didn't realize that deputy he's the, little, Jeff. the deputy guy who's always trying to hit on the on the um, what do they call it? the dispatch lady? Yeah, and yeah. he's like, hey, oh, you want to you want to go out for some coffee and donuts later? She's like, no, I never want to go out with you. Who, Shut up. Who <laughs> yeah, is yeah. also Magda from Something About Mary, who was in the movie last week? That oh, we big about. ass spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of legacy people in this. Yeah, movie. Yeah, so Ethan Phillips, who played Neelix on Star Trek Voyager, he he he's in this movie as the uh, deputy who basically gets killed. And, uh, of course, a very early appearance from Billy Zane rocking mm -hmm. the movie. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Billy Zane's in this movie. His little baby tail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his little tadpole tail. So is this, um, I was like, the sister's going to Billy Goat that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Another when, movie reference. When, when was the first um, uh, Back to the Future? Is it 85 or 84? 85. 85. So Billy Zane was already in Back to the Future before this movie came out. Oh, shit. I forgot that he was in that. He's yeah. like a non-speaking role. No, he's, he's yeah, one he, of Biff he's Tannen's one of Biff yeah, yeah. goons. Yeah. He's one of Biff's I goons. I never knew that. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, Billy Zane is one of Biff's goons in all three movies. Wow. Yep. And even, even like uh, um, 1984 spinoff Biff. Billy Zane's one of his guys there. He's got the big cowboy hat yeah, on. Yeah, he has one line in, yeah. in Back to the Future oh, Part 2. Oh, coming up in the world. <laughs> so I thought it was cool. I always love seeing Billy Zane and things. Yeah, so you know what's funny? is Basically, this was New Line Cinema's answer to Gremlins because Gremlins had come out, like mm -hmm. I think, a year before, and it was mm -hmm. like a huge hit. And so uh, the script had actually been kind of bouncing around the town for like five years before Gremlins came out. So it kind of predated Gremlins. And uh, the guy who wrote it, his name is Dominic Muir, Muir, Muir. something like that, M-U-I-R. And he's best known for being the originator of the Evil Bong movies for uh, for Full Moon Productions or whatever. <laughs> but the guy who basically picked this script up and rewrote it and got it made is the director. His name's Stephen Herrick. Do you guys want to guess what movie Stephen Herrick has also been involved in? Oh, it's probably something famous and amazing. I have no idea. I think I already know. All right, so he directed Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Excellent. The Three Musketeers with Kiefer Sutherland. Nice. Mm. Mr. Holland's Opus, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, mm. The Mighty Ducks. What? Rock Star starring Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I love that movie. And Man of the House starring Tommy Lee Jones. You love Rock Star with Mark, Wal Mark Wahlberg? Rockstar. I've been trying to get us to watch it on the show here for years now. I love that movie too. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead is surprisingly mm -hmm. a good movie. I love that movie. And so is Man of the House. Is that the, what's the one... Um, where they go to like Chicago and they're like climbing on the side of the building. Don't tell mom oh, or the uh, adventures in babysitting. Adventures in babysitting. Oh, okay. So I don't think I've ever seen. Yeah. Don't tell mom. That's with Elizabeth does. Shue. Don't tell mom is with, with Christina, Christina Applegate. Applegate. Yeah. Okay. And like, like that was one of those movies. Like it looked really dumb, but then like you watch it and you're like, oh, this, this movie is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So it seems like Stephen Herrick has like this long history of like movies that look dumb that end up being pretty good. <laughs> I uh, I had a surprisingly good time with this movie. Um, it it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be because like <laughs> going into this, I was like, oh god, critters, it's going to be stupid. But it, it's it's campy and funny and it's kind of goofy. But the the freaking critters that that scene where the dad goes down into the cellar and he's trying to figure out what's making all that noise down there and it starts freaking like biting him all over the place. He comes out, he's all bloody and he's got those little spikes in him and stuff. I was like, oh shit, like they're taking themselves seriously with this thing. I for sure thought the dad was going to die. Like, the, I, I kept waiting for him to, to bite how, the dust. How many people actually did die? There, there are only three people who died yeah, in the movie. It's like, it's, it's, Jeff. The body count's not high. Yeah. Yeah. There's the, Jeff, Billy Zane. The deputy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Who's yeah. the third person? Jeff. Oh, it's, is the deputy named yeah. Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's one. Yeah. Who's the other two? Billy Zane. Billy Zane, Billy Zane dies. Yeah. <clears throat> And Bunch then, of cows. Didn't somebody at the bar die? There was a bar fight when the when the uh, the bounty hunters. Oh, went I in. don't think the bounty hunters killed anyone. No. Didn't the critters go in and eat eat up the bowling alley or something? Yeah, I thought they did. No, no, the, those the bounty hunters. Yeah, the critters weren't. At the oh, it's right. Alley. The bounty hunters had a higher body count than the critters did, right? I don't did, think the bounty hunters actually killed anyone, though. I don't the, think so. That we saw. They have a higher destruction rate. Yeah. Well, that guy that sent him there was like, he went full Darth Vader on like, no disintegrations. Like, don't freaking blow shit up like you did last time. Yeah. yeah. And then they just go there and freaking blow shit up anyway. It's just goofy. There was one weird scene where it looked like a critter was fucking a chicken. Did you guys notice that? I did it looked not like he was that. fucking a chicken as he was eating the chicken. Yeah. Wow. It was, it was very, very bizarre. And I think that's how you see the eggs at the end. Uh, so there are two scenes in this movie that I just absolutely lost it at. The first one is where the family kind of like gets back into the house after being pursued by the critters. And uh, there are two critters on the porch and one of them turns to the other. And it's like, they have weapons. <laughs> oh and, yeah. And, and the, the one critter is, is, is like, so what? And then uh, the door opens and the mom shoots one of them and explodes. And the other critter's just like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subtitles, the subtitles? Yeah. I did. I lost it at that point. That was hilarious. <laughs> And, and, was so and, and funny. what's funny is the guy who was doing the voice of the critters, like he just came up with a kind of mixture of Japanese and German to like make their their voices. Really? Okay. So he was just like doing like like you know you know like a weird amalgamation of like the two languages and <laughs> speaking nonsense, and then they just like subtitled it. It's like <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I, yeah, that that scene was one of the, my favorite ones. It made me laugh out loud for sure. <clears throat> um, I, but I, I don't know, man. This just isn't really my type of movie. Well, well, wait, wait. My second scene. Yeah, what was your oh, other yeah, scene? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So the second scene is at the end of the movie when basically the critters have won. They're in their spaceship. They're getting ready to take off. And then, like, just to be mean, they just decide to, like, blow up the three people's house. And they're just like, fuck your house. And, like, <laughs> the biggest explosion ever yeah. like, just occurs. Yeah, and they, it, they zap the farmhouse. And it's like... <laughs> yeah, like a nuclear yeah, bomb yeah. went up, and, and they, then they just start laughing, and I, I was just like, "They just did that to be mean." They're they petty yeah. bitches. They just, they just oh dicks. yeah, they're just dickheads. Dicks. I fucked your chicken, and I blew up your house. <laughs> That's a goofy ass movie. I want to know how they did the reverse explosion. Because, like, later the bounty hunters, like, you know, they go off and they were like, all right, well, thanks for your help, guys. And in return, in return for your help, in, in return for your help, we're going to fix your house for you. They fly away, and their house, like, rebuilds itself well i'm sure that they had a model that they exploded and then they just were around the footage yeah, yeah. So, so the explosion yeah. was a model like jude said and then for the rebuilding of the house they just nice. shot it in reverse of the house being torn down so but torn down by what though there was nothing there they just played it backwards yeah, yeah I, I know they reversed the footage but i'm saying like how did they get it to fall down to begin with because there's, no, there's no like equipment. There's no explosion in that scene. There's no like well, fireball so they that had like, a sucks back in. inside it. And they <laughs> fed it and it went. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was basically a set that was rigged to collapse. So like oh, they yeah. had cables and stuff to mm. like pull it down. And, Don't you know, ask questions. Here. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I just want to know what the movie magic was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, they pulled a cord. Yeah. And just, how funny was it that like the sister was so thirsty for Billy Zane and he was just kind of like, oh, I don't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. She was real thirsty though. I'd be a little yeah. stressed out too if like I was at this farm like, and like, like, this I shit mean, was coming I, at me. When, yeah. when you're that age, you're, you 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 just want it. Well, yeah. I, I, she I was turned, like, listen, I'm desperate to get off this yeah. farm and you seem like you have money. Mm -hmm. I, I turned to Jude. I was like, that's the type of girl who will like get pregnant just to trap a guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like she was trying her best to like have sex with him and he was just like like oh i don't know about this yeah, yeah the well, dad was like what happened to the last guy and she's like Ugh, all he cared about was pig farming and the dad's <laughs> like pig farming's a good good job my dad was a pig farmer and she was like that ain't my that ain't the life for me yeah, yeah. i right. want a man with a porsche she's trying to get out of town for sure and the actress who played the sister she was in this other movie that was a ripoff oh of, ghoulies of called yeah ghoulies. yeah yeah so she was in both of those Ghoulies. I think I've seen a poster for that. That's yeah, the one with the, coming out of the toilet. The yeah, little... I feel like there was like around this time there was Gremlins, there was Critters, there was Ghoulies, and I feel like there were a bunch of like little spin-offs that were like we're doing a version of that. Yeah, I'm sure Jude like, will make us watch it at some point. Can we yeah. talk about the dad's bowling league? The Pin Busters. Yeah, and it was like, it was the Ghostbusters logo, right? But we had a bowling pin instead uh -huh. of a ghost. Yeah, that was Genius. great. Yes, that's great. That's I great want marketing. to be on that bowling league. And, and the colors of the shirt were based off of uh, Egon's colors from the Ghostbusters cartoon show. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like this pastel green and pink. <laughs> it was like really weird. <laughs> yeah, because Ghostbusters came out in '84. And then this came out in '86, so they were probably still riding that 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 wave. I wonder if they had to get copyright like 
legal it's legal no is it's it under parody enough. yeah it's different enough yeah. mm, okay <clears throat> interesting two, we only got two, two million dollars man <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're working on a shoestring budget here but, yeah. but it was also funny like so like the the main thrust of the show is kind of like this family dealing with like the critters which is you know typical horror movie stuff but a side kind of like plot to this is the bounty hunters trying to track down the critters mm -hmm. And they're really bad at tracking they're stuff terrible. down. But like in a way, that was a more enjoyable oh, like yeah. like yeah. Uh, plot line. There was there was way more bounty hunter stuff in this movie than the actual. Yeah, and I, I liked how like the one guy shows up because he looks like the rock star, and everyone's like, "Hey, you're that rock star guy." <laughs> and his his partner can't decide <clears throat> on a face. He's like so wishy washy about it. <laughs> well, he takes on like three different faces, yeah. right? He he's, does. He's uh, the deputy first, mm -hmm. then the preacher, and then he goes into the church to talk to the preacher. Then he takes that guy's face. Yeah, and then he goes into the bowl bowling alley bar and, and he, he sees Charlie Charlie's the, face the nut and he takes Charlie's face yeah yeah and they just go around just like randomly destroying shit like they're really bad at driving so they keep running into they stuff. were they stayed in reverse the first time they got yeah. their car okay. they, they didn't were, know how to drive it they, they just put it in reverse they were supposed backwards. to study that video of the customs of the planet and they did a shitty job they're watching rock videos the whole time and he's like yeah I'm feeling this guy Johnny Seal yeah. and he like stopped watching the video at that point he was like yeah I got my face yeah I don't need to know anything else and that first face transformation was like really creepy because like yeah. they basically oh, like yeah, did in practical. reverse like this like melting wax face type yeah thing. they did the indiana jones thing but in reverse yeah. like, it had like a skull and then it like slowly morphed yeah. into a person just like they did the house at the end yeah yeah oh my gosh it's so crazy <laughs> movie magic <laughs> <laughs> everything's coming together whoa yeah and it, it's actually kind of interesting because this is the only critters movie where like the critters get bigger the more they eat mm -hmm. yes and uh it was kind of weird like at the end instead of like eating the the daughter they just bring her to her space to their spaceship. Well, you can't eat the sexy you chick. Need, you need a snack for later because yeah. she was a little bit of a snack. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're going to take her. It's like a King Kong thing, you know? Oh, she's pretty. We're going to take her yeah. with us. I mean, they fucked a chicken. You think they're not going to fuck her? <laughs> oh, that, that's a good point. Yeah. Critter babies. Glad. See the size of that chicken? I'm so glad you was here. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, because I thought this movie was kind of dumb. It's but it's a campy I, '80s dumb I movie, dude. I wish, I wish so. I wish with my every little bit of my heart that we had the time to like watch these movies together because it would be so much more enjoyable if we could. You weren't into it, huh? No, not at all. No, not really, not at all. Oh wow. I I, I, uh, I, I was kind of that felt this way about all all these movies this week. They're fun movies. Um, like I, I had to have people to watch these movies with, even if I had to like do a watch party on our Discord to do it because. I don't know if I could have gotten through any of them on my own. You, you know what I'm saying? I almost didn't finish yeah. Killer Clowns. Yeah. I was so close not you to watch. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Just, are you ready to talk about that movie? Yes. We, okay, let's, let's do, do final, final thoughts. thoughts. Final thoughts on Critters. V, how many, what's the star rating for this? Uh, critters. Um, I avoided watching this movie for years and years and years because <laughs> I knew I, I, I just wasn't ever going to. I'm glad I could help bring it. about that closure for yeah. you. Um, I, I saw this movie, I, th I think I saw it maybe back in the day, maybe back in the late 80s. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't remember ever taking it off the shelf at the VHS store, mm -hmm. but I, I had to have at some point or seen it. On, was it ever on TBS or Probably. something like that? Probably, maybe yeah. I saw it there. Um, but this might as well have been the first watch because I don't remember watching it before. But I don't think it was. Um, but it's just, I appreciate your love for these kind of movies, but sometimes these movies are really hard for me. And this is one of those ones that was just really kind of hard. I did like the fact that Scott Grimes was in it because for the first half hour of the show, I'm like, that dude looks really familiar, even though he's 12 or whatever it was. And it was really kind of it, funny to me that it's like, Oh, horrible guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get the it. Pilot from yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's done a shout out for us too. Yeah. Well, hi there, guys. I'm saying hi to Alex. I'm saying hi to Matt. I'm saying hi to Jude Juju, uh, who are some salty nerds. You guys run the Salty Nerds podcast, I hear, and I hear it's freaking awesome. Yeah, I get it. It was, it was, it was, it was that was fun. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. I have a hard time. If if I'm just judging these on on a normal movie scale. I'm giving all these movies one star crap fest this week, but I can't do that Why because, not? because it's just, I, they, I got to put them on like uh, a bad campy movie scale. You know, it's just cause that's, it's not fair to give them all one star crap fest. Cause that's just shitty to me because they're it's just, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, on, on a bad movie scale, I'll, I'll put it like two and a half. 
I think. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a high fair. rating for a movie you don't like. Yeah, but but it's but it's <laughs> But it's not a bad movie. It's for bad movies. I'll I'll give it a middle of the road. Okay. So all right, Jude. I love this movie. I'm so excited that I had the power to make you guys watch <laughs> this movie. It's one of the movies that made Jude. This is one of the movies that is like one of the things that I watched growing up that made me like this genre of movies. This and the next one we're going to talk about. Um, so this is probably four Billy Zane's fingers out of five. For okay. Me. <laughs> All right, cool. Four out of five. Kish, first watch. Yes. So th this was a first watch. I like I, 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 I knew about Goonies or not Goonies, uh, Critters for a long time. Uh, just never had the desire to watch it. Um, so it, it was kind of fun getting to watch it for my first time with Jude and Tom, Conspiracy <laughs> Tom, who came over to watch it with us. And there's a scene in here where like the whole family is having dinner with Billy Zane and they're eating corn on the cob. And I was, and I turned to my companions and I was like, I wonder if they use the war games method of eating <laughs> that corn on the cob. And everyone got my joke, which was nice. <laughs> they don't though. I looked because I thought the same exact thing. Every time I see somebody eating corn on the cob and I'm like, are they going to butter it the way they're supposed yeah, to? Are they war gaming it? Are they war gaming it? Yeah. But uh, so uh, this movie is, it is a lot of fun. I mean, it, it, it's dumb, it's campy, but if you go in knowing that it's dumb and campy, you're gonna have a good time watching it. Um, I loved like the whole like kind of space bounty hunter aspect of it, and and how kind of blues brothery they they mm. were just like running around destroying everything, fucking shit up, yeah. walking out exactly with a new face. <laughs> yeah, and and the characters were all like interesting and believable, and um, I thought that the critters themselves were like a lot of fun. It did remind me a lot of Gremlins, and overall, it was just kind of like a, a stupid enjoyable movie. It's the type of movie where if you get together with some friends and get a few drinks in you and you watch it, like you guys can have a good time watching it. So it's definitely one of those cult movies in my opinion. And I'll give it a solid two Billy Zane fingers out of <laughs> or two Billy Zane ponytails out of okay. five. There you go. Uh, question. What was that bounty hunter um, show that we watched recently? Oh, then Cowboy Bebop? Cowboy Bebop, thank you. Yeah, oh. so those are space bounty hunters versus these space bounty hunters. Like these ones win. I, I feel like this did a better job of like fleshing out space bounty hunters and making them fun and cool. Okay. It depends on if you're talking about the live action show or the anime because the anime. Way. I think she's talking about the live action. Well, yeah, I, I've I never know, seen that one. Obviously yeah, I'm I mean, talking, I'm talking about like the show that we just watched versus the show that we just watched. Right. Like these space bounty hunters are so much cooler. They're so much more fun and they're so much more fun to watch. Yeah, and I, I like how like, so it makes sense if you're a bounty hunter that you would change your face to kind of blend in with like, whatever happens. And like later on in, in the Critter sequels, like uh, I think the one who can't decide on, on like, you know, what face he wants <clears throat> turns into like a, a woman based off of like a centerfold and, and like a <laughs> boy. He's got like big boobs and stuff like that. But that's what's so hilarious about it too, is that they, they do that to blend in, but at the same time, they're just like destroying everything that they come about and it doesn't make them blend in. Yeah. This is a... <laughs> oh, don't you dare. <laughs> do it. It's like a one and a half star. <laughs> I'll give it a half a star. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't hate it, but it's not my genre. Um, the critters were goofy. That scene where they were like, they have weapons. So what? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that was legitimately funny, but that was the only moment where I was like really laughing out loud. Yeah, I wish there I, were more moments yeah, like that like where, we, where we got the subtitled critters. Stuff. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, you should listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool guy. <laughs> He's a super cool guy. Uh, but I, I can't give it more than that because I just didn't, I, I'll never watch this movie again. I'm just, it's not yeah. my thing. I don't understand why I'm on a show with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wait until we talk about Killer Clowns, which we're going to talk about right after this. Mm -hmm.